Hello, I'm Ella Isakov, a medical intuitive and a wealth activator, and this is another episode of Inside Healing, 10 to 15 minutes of insight and healing coming out every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. And I would love to hear how this went for you in comments and share. So, so somebody that can probably also use this healing and insight and subscribe so you never miss a moment of it. I want to talk today about something that is so subconsciously ingrained in all of us, I'd say the whole world. And it's by our age, it's by our ethnicity, by our sex. Do you know that even aging is a belief system? It's a fear-based belief system that once you turn 50 or 60, you have to have gray hair, you have to kind of give up in a way, and it's getting, it's too late for you. The aging part is a fear-based belief system. Yeah. I don't want to talk about aging today, but I want to tell you about how many parameters and limiting belief systems that we have in this 3D world that we live in. How many labels and boxes? For example, you know, you can't go for that. Oh, you're too old to do this. Oh, you know, and we, we make assumptions by how people look or where they come from or how old they are. And these assumptions come from these unspoken belief systems, limitations, labels and boxes that we put also on ourselves, by the way. You know, as soon as we, I find even when people turn 30, they all of a sudden stop aspiring. Like, oh, I can't go back to school. Um, you know, there's this schedule that's also kind of set out. Oh, it's too late after this time. Uh, it's almost, it's also, it's like it's possible for them, but not for me. But that's not necessarily the theme that I'm going for. So today, <laughs> I want to really talk about this aging thing and about when it feels like it's too late or when it feels like it's too young, like you're too young to be able to make that money or to open up that business or to whatever it is. It's, it's, it's compounding stuff that's on us. So today I want to run something called not too old and not too young. Boom. <laughs> um, and also labels and boxes. I want to clear those out of the way. And here's the thing. This goes this. It's almost like a caste system, almost like a caste system for a culture, for ages, for the sex. Do you know that even I'd say just over 100 years ago, women couldn't even vote. And in some areas of the world, people still women uh, still cannot vote or have freedom. And how do we, I guess I want, my intention with today's session is to break free any of the limitations. For example, I'm 53 and oh my God, why I should be, I should be looking different. I should, I should not even bother working out. <laughs> why bother, you know, just give up. <laughs> you know, even that old quote unquote old lady look is, um, is a fear-based belief system. You know, my teacher who stayed with me, she's in her 60s, and it was just her birthday. In fact, she reminded me of this thing. It was her birthday, <clears throat> and she looks so youthful. Uh, if you've done a core pattern reading with me, she's my teacher for that. She stayed with me for three months. She looks so youthful. She still dresses, you know, wearing color, wearing, showing our belly, all of that. Don't we have these limitations? Oh, she's dressed like that for her age. Oh, she looks like that for her age. Oh, she's doing that at her age. So I guess and it seems like it's kind of age, but I guess age is a big part of it. But also the women, the male, and also the cultural stuff and how we look. So I want to dive right in. I'm going to clear it's not too old. You're not too old. You're not too young. Whatever age you are is perfect. And I'm also going to clear labels and boxes. Let you be the free citizen of the world. No matter your age, no matter what country you come from, no matter your sex, <clears throat> let's clear all of those labels and boxes. All right. So find a comfortable seat. Let every exhale bring you further into your body.
And then the next exhale, make your way down, down, down through all the layers of Mother Earth until you get to the heart of Mother Earth and be held by her loving energy. And then put your hands onto your heart and give yourself permission. Say it out loud. Give yourself permission to receive. I open up to fully 110, 1,000% receive. Set those really powerful, powerful intentions for yourself. All right, here we go. Starting to run, you're not too old and you're not too young. Sacred activation. They're actually also telling me to add in age is just a number. Oh, I like it. So you're going to get two here. So you're not too old and you're not too young. And age is just a number. Whoa. Here we go. They tell me that to tell you that to defy, defy any of the rules that are keeping you in fear or in any way limiting your freedom in how you wish to do things within yourself, also within your life as well. I'm going to start doing labels and boxes. Let's crunch those boxes. Let's break them and smash the walls. So then when we make choices in our life, it's not from anybody else's opinion. When we clear all the the 3D fears and other people's opinions, the systems and people, we actually start to look different because the fear fills our cells. And that's why my teacher that was staying here looks so youthful. In fact, ageless, like she just doesn't age. <laughs> very freeing it's very freeing so you can watch this one all the time because we have a lot of belief systems about this and from past lives from our family from the systems uh, from school you know even the school the the, the assumptions about boys and girls for example oh my gosh where does one even where do i even begin about this <laughs> And it's all fear-based, and it's going to keep you in fear. Whether you're a man or a woman, we need this equally for different reasons. And it's not really about aging or not aging. It's about the fear that lives in those belief systems. So there's no nothing wrong with aging. There's nothing wrong with gray hair or wrinkles. It's not about that. Please understand 
it's always comes back to fear. It's always about coming back to love and no labels, no boxes, a universal citizen that not determined by where we come from, our age, our sex. It's conditioning, right? Those activations will continue to run for a few hours. And I think the labels and boxes will take, a f and all, actually all of these will take <clears throat> a few months to probably finish integrating, but you can listen whenever you need to get into this energy. Take the last couple of breaths here. And then making your way back down to the heart of Mother Earth, feeling the integrating, the loving, and the healing energy of Mother Earth. And repeat this in your mind. I'm fully back into my body. I'm free and loved. I'm fully back into my body. I am free and loved. I'm fully back into my body. I am free and loved. You can wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. When you're ready, you may open up your eyes. Mm -hmm. Let me know how this was for you down below. Let me know uh, even the words that I said, not even the energy, how that landed for you. It's a hard thing when it's everywhere, you know? So how do we break free when every message, every message is telling us something different than what I'm telling you? How do we believe it and trust it and allow it to filtrate every cell of our being. Well, it is a constant practice for sure. And it's about also learning to be in this world, this 3D world, but not plugging into all the fears, the scarcity, the lack. Yeah, it's possible. It is. Uh, it does take a little bit, it takes a little bit of effort until you get to the flow of the effort. As always, it's, it's beyond an honor. I'm so grateful that you show up, whether it's first time or you've seen all these episodes. I'm beyond grateful. I love requests. Send me requests if you have something that you're really needing aid and help with or guidance with. I'm here for you.